Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. Today's video, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This has been highly requested, and I'm finally sitting down and doing this. I had to really think about it and go over some things, but today, I am going to show you the top fragrances from Bath & Body Works that are the strongest and last the longest. So you ready for this, you guys? It's a big one. It's a big one. I just want to say before we get started that there is a variety of scents here. I have everything from perfumey scents to gourmand to floral and fresh. So there is something here for everyone. It's going to be a big one, y'all. So grab yourself a snack, a drink, and uh, let's get into it. The first one is, of course, Into the Night, baby. Oh, yes. Into the Night has scent notes of Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. I love this one. There is something so magical about this scent. When it first came out, it was just unlike anything that had been given to us by Bath & Body Works previously, and it was amazing. First and foremost, I get the amber in here, the rose and the patchouli. It comes together beautifully. And then there's this mocha musk and the raspberry noir. It is a very perfumey scent. It smells like a high-end perfume. Definitely something sexy that you would wear in the night. So into the night we go, right, baby? The next one, pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh my gosh, all of these are stunners, like super strong, super heavy hitters, and they last a long time. And pumpkin pecan waffles is no joke, baby. Holy moly. Talk about a gourmand lover's dream. Scent notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. God, I love this scent. It is so like pancakey, waffles, syrup, sugary sweetness dripping with butter. Baby, you want to smell like a snack? This is the snack. Please believe, baby. Oh, my God. It is just so freaking good. If you've ever smelled the candle by Bath & Body Works, this smells identical to it. Next up, we have one that was just released this fall. And y'all, it's so strong. I have to do this in very small doses. And for me to say that, you know this sucker is strong as hell. And it's leaves. Yes, leaves. Just like the candle, super potent. Holy shit. Scent notes are crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Oh, I have to be careful. If I put this too much on my nose, holy moly. It is so strong. The spice notes in this are so extremely heavy. The clove is massive in this, like massive. I don't get apple. I don't get nectar. I get straight up clove and like cinnamon spice. This one seems to be either a love or hate with a lot of Bath and Body Works lovers because... It's just so damn potent. And some people don't really want to smell like cinnamon spice and everything nice, right? They'd rather stay along other lines in this. But this sucker's heavy, heavy, heavy hitter. You want to smell like a walking bowl of potpourri, baby? This is right up your alley. Okay, okay. Next up, we do have, oh my gosh, fresh cut lilacs. Oh my God. First, let me just say, Lilacs are like my favorite flowers in the entire universe. I love lilacs. The scent notes are not on this bottle, but I do have it on the lotion. They are lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. It is literally like sticking your entire face into this huge bouquet of lilac blossoms. It is just amazing. Oh, and you do get a little bit of like dewy green in there and like the real softness of spring air. But the lilac is absolutely gorgeous. I'm talking gorgeous. If you are a floral lover, 
You're going to like this. And this sucker is strong. Oh my God. I can spray this on in the morning in spring and still smell it by late afternoon. No joke. This sucker is heavy hitter. And so beautiful. Oh, it makes me think of springtime just immediately. Next up, we have Cherry Limeade. Yes, this came out SAS, what was it? 2021? 2021? Cherry Limeade. We only saw her one time, and that was it. Scent notes are juicy red cherries, candied lime, and sparkling citrus soda. This is so freaking strong, y'all. Like, it literally is like a lime cherry slushy. That's exactly what it smells like. Cherry, lime, you kind of have this bubbly essence in the background, but it's not bubbly like soda. It's more like refreshing bubbly, you know what I mean? But it's so amazingly good, and I'm so glad I still have one set in my collection because I'll be really sad when she's gone because, damn, I always get massive compliments whenever I wear this in the summer. Always. Next up, we have pumpkin apple. Yes, pumpkin apple. The scent notes are not on here, but it smells identical to the candle. It is red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, and clove buds. Whoo, is she strong, baby. Oh my gosh. Not as strong as leaves, but boy, is she strong. And at least in this one, you do get the apple. Apple, some cinnamon, a little bit of clove. And you do get a little bit of sweetness of pumpkin. This is a good one. I honestly think this smells better in a lot of ways than leaves. But I mean, to eat your own. And even this, I thought this was strong. Ho, ho, ho. That leaves is a heavy hitter, heavy hitter. Oh, yes. But this is super strong as well. It embodies fall in a lot of ways, and I absolutely love it. Next up, Dahlia. You cannot have a video about top, long-lasting, powerful body sprays from Bath & Body Works without Dahlia, baby. Let me tell you. Scent notes are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. I swear to God, this is a body spray dupe of Caroline Herrera's Good Girl. And it's amazing. You definitely get the pear and the praline and the tonka. As well as like a velvet, a velvety floral, which is those dahlia petals. But it's so, the dahlia itself is lighter. But I'm telling you, the praline in here is heavy. The pear is heavy. It is amazing. It is amazing, mature, sexy scent for a grown-ass woman. And that's what it reminds me of. But Dahlia, oh my God, massive compliments, massive potency. I love her. Next up, we have Little Black Party Dress. Yes. This one, I was debating whether or not to enter her in here, but I felt she was worthy of a mention. Scent notes in Little Black Party Dress are peony, patchouli, and nectarine. Oh, it just smells like the epitome of grown. Grown, classy woman. Like, when I smell this, I think of a woman that's about handling her business. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't get a lot of nectarine in here. I do get a lot of patchouli and peony, which blends beautifully together. And she is just gorgeous, yo. Like, for real, for real, for real. Little back party dress. They need to bring her back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saltwater Breeze. You cannot do this without Saltwater Breeze. I swear to God, this one is so freaking amazing. I remember when this came out and I remember how awestruck I was by it. Scent notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. And by the scent notes, you would think it like a, that fresh linen, you'd be like, is this going to be like a laundry scent? <laughs> no, absolutely not. 
For me, it really reminds me of standing next to the ocean with that salt note in the air, yet you get like this musky note in there as well as a little bit of linen, and it's gorgeous. It is one of the best, probably one of my top five scents from Bath & Body Works of all time. So good. And every time I wear this, I get mad compliments. Mad. Especially the perfume. When I wear the perfume in the summertime layered, oh my God. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You've got to get Saltwater Breeze in your collection if you do not have it already. Next up, we have Dream Bright. Yes, Dream Bright came out last winter. Scent notes are Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. There is something so freaking sultry and sexy about this scent. For me, I think it's that orchid and the vanilla. It comes together really, really well, almost like this creaminess factor. And you do get some berry in it, but it's not heavy. It's the orchid and the vanilla, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think this is probably one of my most complimented winter scents that I had last year. I'm very looking forward to using this again this winter. I can't wait, y'all. This one, I forgot how good this is. Oh, it smells so damn good, y'all. So damn good. Next, we have Plumeria. Oh, yes, baby. Plumeria was just re-released this past summer at SAS. Scent notes are Pink Plumeria, Peach Nectar, Red Apple, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Gardenia Petals. This takes me back to when this first came out in the 90s, and it was so freaking good. And it's still good. It's super strong, lasts a long time, and I love it. It really gives you the vibe of like Hawaii and laying on a beach and just being surrounded by plumeria petals and the sun on your skin and the sea crashing onto the ocean, you know, the, the, or the sea crashing onto the beach. It's just amazing, and I love it. Very, very floral. If you do not like floral scents, you probably will not like this. Next up, you're the one, baby. You are the one. Uh-huh. Scent notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. I remember when this one came out. I was not a fan initially. I thought it was a very, very strong, too mature. But once I started wearing it, I fell in love with it. Yo! You do get the teeniest, tiniest bit of strawberry in here, but it's mostly rose and birch, which blends beautifully. It is just gorgeous. And it's probably one of their very best done, higher end perfume type of smelling scents because it's so damn good. Oh, yes. This one is eternal. It lasts all damn day. Mad compliments. You need You're the One if you don't have her already. Next up, Firecracker Pop. Yes, 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 yes. I remember when she first came out, this was a love it or hate it because people, Bath & Body Works has a tendency with cherry notes that either you love them or you hate them. This I absolutely loved. Scent notes were red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. It literally, to me, smells like the cherry part of a bomb pop. That's exactly what it smells like. Super cherry, super, like, sweet cherry. Not black cherry Merlot, not a sugared cherry crisp where it's like a pie, but, like, sweet cherry. Cherry popsicles. That's what this smells like is cherry popsicles. No joke. And boy, is it strong. This sucker will last. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this one so much. If you have not tried Firecracker Pop, you can probably find it at uh, on Mercari. Or I bet you even some outlet stores still have it. And definitely be on the lookout next summer because I bet they will bring her back again. 
Next up, we have the new one, Luminous. Yes, I love Luminous. I think she is beautiful. Luminous scent notes are Amber, Current, Iris, and Praline. If you watched my review on Luminous, I swear I think this is a half sibling to Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. It has such a beautiful praline note in it that's like a creamy praline. The iris is heavy in it. The amber is heavy. I wish the black currant was heavier. It's not, but still, this is amazing. And I'm going to tell you something. When the whole line of this comes out, I'm getting all of it. All of it. This lasted so freaking long on my skin. I sprayed it on in the morning, and I swear to God I could still smell it by nighttime. It is a heavy hitter, and I love this one. Check out Luminous. It should be in stores very soon, if it's not already by the time this video goes up. Next up, In the Stars. Oh, my God. You cannot have heavy hitters without In the Stars. This bottle does not have the scent notes. But we do have the body cream. It is Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugared Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. And let me just tell you, this is a body spray dupe in a lot of ways to Baccarat Rouge 540, which I adore. It is so freaking good. It's bright. It's almost like festive, holiday time, gorgeous, sexy. I get the Tangelo in this. I didn't used to be able to pick up that Tangelo note, but I have in recent years. But you also get the white agar wood, an amber. You definitely get the amber. And the sandalwood. And it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. If you have never tried In the Stars, you need to get your hands on it. You need to get your hands on it. Next up, we have Freesia. Yes, another floral for you floral lovers. Freesia, scent notes on Freesia are Freesia, creamy hyacinth, and white musk. I absolutely adore hyacinths and Freesia, and I haven't smelled this in a while, so I'm super excited. Oh, I love this. I adore this. It really smells like as if you've got hyacinth bushes and freesia bushes in your front and it's really hot outside and a breeze comes along and that scent wafts into your face and it is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Super floral, super good, super strong. Like baby, whoa, holy moly. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And I know outlets still do have her. Once in a while, you can still find her online. So uh, you need some freesia in your life if you don't already have her. Next up, we have Sunwash Citrus. Talk about heavy. Scent notes are sugared lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. Whoo, baby. Baby, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like super lemony, but you get the mandarin. You also get a little bit of that sweetness, like a sugary sweetness, almost like lemon heads. That's what this reminds me of, the candy lemon heads. Yeah. And it's so freaking good. And it's so strong, like holy moly strong. I absolutely adore this one. If you're a citrus lover and you like lemony scents, you're going to love this. Some wash citrus. You need her. You need her. Next up, we have Berry Waffle Cone. Oh, my God. This one has a massive dent in her. I love this scent. Talk about super gourmand. Scent notes are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Woo, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, so good. When this came out, it was another one that was a love or hate. Some people thought it was too strong, but you definitely get the berries and the waffle cone. Like how a, a waffle cone place that sells actual waffle cones smells inside. That's what this smells like. The berries and that waffle cone are brought together beautifully. 
And boy, is this puppy strong. Like, holy moly. You will be smelling like a walking snack with this on. I love it. 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 Next up, we have Bora Bora Citrus Surf. This came out 2020 in the spring in their tropical collection. Scent notes are sugared lemon, dewy water fruit, and vanilla bean. And y'all, let me just say, Like the Sunwatch Citrus has lemon. This to me smells like Skittles. Yeah, like Skittles. Big time. But boy, is she strong. Like, holy moly, heavy hitter, in your face, smacking you with the whole damn orchard of flavors in your face. Yeah, this one's really, really good, y'all. And she only was out that one time. I do love her a lot. She does smell like Skittles, though. Like, uh, please believe, don't get it twisted. Next up, we have Beachfront Blanket. Yes, Beachfront Blanket. This one, I struggled in the beginning to like her because it was such a fresh type of scent, like linen scent. Scent notes are fresh white linen. Summer sun rays and soft musk. Oh, but now I absolutely love it. Like it literally smells like a freshly laundered beach blanket. But it's not laundry detergent. It is not solely laundry detergent. There is something else in here. And maybe it's that musk note, but it's gorgeous. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's almost like combining a fresh, fresh out of the shower type of a scent with this beautiful linen musk. And it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I have fallen in love with this and my God, is she strong. Like, holy moly moly, it's going to smell like you were just freshly laundered, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My last one. You guys. They have come out with other versions of this since the original, but nothing is quite like this original, and it was Christmas cookies. Oh my God, the OG, this is all I have left. I'm sure they'll bring her back again, but she's not going to be like the original. No, no. And the original is from Land of Sweets. It did not have scent notes on the bottle, but I do have some of the body lotion left. And you guys, I'm, so, I'm going to be so sad when this is gone. Scent notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel wood. And y'all, I you all know I'm a vanilla hoe. Vanilla hoe? And uh, I have no shame in saying that. And this, super vanilla. Like, super, super vanilla cookies amazing and strong like strong the ones they've come out with since then do not last like this original does the scent just transports me and literally is one of the best scents in the entire world this is most definitely one of my top five from bath and body works and you need her the og of christmas cookies you guys, that is everything I have for my top scents for Bath & Body Works that are not only strong, but last long. Tell me what you think. Did I miss one? Is there one you didn't agree with? Let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments below. Other than that, y'all, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads. And uh, other than that, y'all, I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.